In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up custom feedback while your learners review their quiz. Okay, so the background of this video is a client of mine asked me to help them build a quiz for their e-learning project using Adobe Captivate where the quiz questions themselves would provide no feedback initially. However, when the learner decided to review the quiz, they would not only see whether they got the answer right or wrong, but also get additional information in a text caption form. Let me show you. Okay, so I've built my quiz slides pretty standard. There's really nothing special here. The only thing that I've done different is I've added my own smart shape for each of the question slides and I've labeled them feedback 01, feedback 02. And this includes a more detailed explanation of what the correct answer is for each of these question slides. One of the things that's really cool about Captivate is you can select your first question slide, scroll down to your last question slide, hold down shift key and click on the last question slide. And this will select all of your question slides. And if you go to the quiz panel next to your properties inspector, you can make changes that are global or universal to all these question slides. So I've gone ahead and I've changed the on success action to simply go to next slide. I'm only allowing one attempt. I've turned off the correct, incomplete, and failure messages for all these question slides because the idea here, my client is looking for no feedback whatsoever. They want to be able to just answer the question, submit, quickly go to the next question and continue from there. And I've done the same thing for failure under last attempts there. So really the only thing custom here is this additional shape item which I'm simply calling feedback 01, feedback all the way to feedback number 10. Let's go into our quiz preferences here for a moment. We'll go into the quiz drop down menu and select quiz preferences. So in this situation, what we're looking for is, uh, you know, normally the question review messages are determined here. And of course in HTML5, we don't see any of this. This is all gone. So essentially this is going to replace that when your learner reviews how they did. And uh, you know, in this case here, we are allowing the user to review the quiz. That's what we're doing here. And under pass or fail, we're giving them infinite attempts and we're showing a retake button so that they can retake the quiz. Keep in mind though, that if you allow your learners to review the quiz, the ability to retake that assessment goes away once you've reviewed the quiz and they would need to exit the course and relaunch and take the course again. That's standard for any Adobe Captivate project. So what we're gonna do to get these captions here, these shapes used as a caption, if you will, what we're going to do to get those to appear is we're going to write an advanced action and save it as a shared action so it can be used over and over again for efficiency's sake. So let's start off by going into the project drop down menu and selecting advanced actions. And we'll call this display custom caption or something like that. It doesn't have to be uh, this, you can use whatever you wish. And we're going to use a conditional advanced action. So we're going to click on the conditional tab and we're going to say, if we're looking at a particular system variable, in this case here, we're looking for CP in review mode. This will have a value of one if the learner is reviewing their quiz, but it will have a value of zero if they're just taking their normal quiz questions as if they were completing them. So we're going to say if CP in review mode is equal to the literal value of one, we're going to show, we'll use feedback zero one as an example in this case. However, if they're not in review mode, in other words, 
CP in review mode will be equal to zero, we're going to hide that message. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? It's basically you're creating a toggle situation. If you're in review mode, we'll see this message. If you're not in review mode, we won't see it. So what I'm going to do now is rather than writing this 10 times for my 10 questions, I'm going to save this as a shared action. Uh, the title of it's very good. You can write a description to remind yourself of what it is that you're doing here. These two items will never change under any circumstances, you know, so all we need to do is put something, you know, because I always think of shared actions as a fill in the blank advanced action. So caption, you want to hide or show. Okay, it's just an explanation to remind you what this shared action does. Because once you create a shared action, you can't edit them unless you go back to the original advanced actions. So I'm going to go ahead and press save. That's now saved. And I actually usually save the advanced action anyway, because of course, if I do wish to edit this six months, a year from now, I just want to remember what I did. So I'll save this as an action, click OK, and we can now click close. So what we want to do with our first question is when we arrive on the slide, we want to go to the actions tab and on enter, we're going to execute shared actions, select the shared action you've just created. I've only created one, so it shows up by default and click on the action parameters icon here. And we're simply going to select what our feedback caption is called. And conveniently, I've labeled them, taken the time to label them all very easily in advance. So I just do that and press save. And we repeat that process for all of our slides. So on enter, execute shared action, action parameters. And with your timeline visible, this is helpful when you're doing this, you can see what your object is called, and this will be feedback number two. Just repeat that for all of your quiz questions. And once you're done that, I'll show you what's left to do. Okay, so I've gone ahead and applied that shared action to every single one of my slides in the on enter section of the actions tab. So this should work. There's really nothing more to do other than to preview it and make sure everything is fine. So let's preview in HTML5 in browser. Again, just a reminder, this particular client didn't want any feedback to appear on screen here. So it's just gonna be answer questions and then continue. So we'll go ahead and start this off, custom review feedback here, and um, we'll just purposely get everything wrong here. We'll just, uh, just choose things at random here. and complete the quiz. And of course, we will fail in this case here. All right, so we, as you see, got only 20%. So I <laughs> randomly got some correct answers. So now I'm going to review the quiz. So now when I arrive on this slide, I of course see the icons associated with reviewing my quiz questions. But because it's run that advanced action, it's determined that I'm in review mode and it displays a little more information about each question. So your learners can go through and see what is the correct answer and of course an explanation that provides them a little bit more detail. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction Paul's goal is to provide lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.